Hollywood's most notable deaths of 2024 John Landor, Carl Weathers, Shannon Doherty, Chital Rivera, Bob Newhart, Richard Lewis and Toby Keita among several entertainment legends the industry lost this year. The entertainment industry has already had to say goodbye to several actors, singers, performers, creatives, executives, and all-around industry legends this year. The Hollywood Reporter is highlighting some of the most well-known names who have died in 2024, including John Landor, Carl Weathers, Shannon Doherty, Chital Rivera, Bob Newhart, Richard Lewis, Chance Badoma, and Toby Keithweathers, who is best known for his role as boxer Apollo Creed in the first four Akir films as well as roles in Predator. Happy Gilmore in Mandalorian died in his sleep at his home in Los Angeles in February. He was 76. Carl was an exceptional human being who lived an extraordinary life. His manager, Met Luba, wrote at the time Lando, the Oscar-winning producer who worked Alan Sidder James Cameron to bring Titanic and Avatar blockbusters to the big screen, died in July after a 16-month battle with cancer, a Disney spokesperson said. He was 63. He believed that film is the ultimate human art form, and to make films you have to first be human yourself. Cameron wrote in a tribute, he will be remembered as much for his vast generosity of spirit as for the movies themselves. Doherty, who starred in Beverly Hills, 90210 and Charmed, died in July following a long battle with cancer. Her publicist Leslie Slowly said in a statement, she was 53. Rivera, who was a show-stopping legend of Broadway for more than a half century, died in January following a brief illness at age 91. Her daughter, Lisa Mordente, said in a statement to THR, Lewis was a self-deprecating comedian who made his way from stand-up to starring on anything but love and pure enthusiasm. He died at his home in Los Angeles after suffering a heart attack in February. His publicist told THR at the time. He was 76. Curb creator Larry David wrote in a statement following Lewis' death. Richard and I were born three days apart in the same hospital. And for most of my life, he's been like a brother to me. He had that rare combination of being the funniest person and also the sweetest. But today, he made me sob. And for that, I'll never forgive him. Newhart, the beloved stand-up performer whose deadpan humor was highlighted on two critically acclaimed CBS sitcoms, died in July after a series of short illnesses. His longtime publicist, Jerry Digney, announced he was 94. Keith, a country music singer and songwriter, died in February at age 62 following a battle with stomach cancer. Some of his biggest hits included Should Be in a Cowboy, Who's Your Daddy, courtesy of the Red, White and Blue, Beer for My Horses, and Made in America, Podomo, who starred in Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and V, died at age 27 as a result of a motorcycle accident. His passion for the arts and insatiable appetite for life was felt by all who knew him, and his warmth will carry on in those who he loved dearest. His rep wrote in a statement, Harry Johnson, an actor who appeared on dozens of shows throughout his 40-year career, including Batlister Galactica, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Law and Order, died on January 2nd. He was 81 Christian Oliver, a German-born actor known for roles in Speed Racer, Hunters, The Good German and Saved by the Bell. The new class died after a private aircraft carrying him and his two daughters crashed into the Caribbean Sea on January 4th. The cleaning lady star Adam Canto died on January 8th of appendiceal cancer. His rep told The Hollywood Reporter. His diagnosis had not been made public. He was 42. Bill Hayes, the actor and singer who with his real-life wife, Susan C. Four Hayes, starred on NBC's Days of Our Levises, the beloved first couple of daytime television died January 12th in Los Angeles. A rep from the show told The Hollywood Reporter. He was 98. Margaret Riley, the respected agent, manager and lighthouse management and media partner who served as a producer on the Fox News drama bombshell, died on January 23rd. She was 58. Chitar Rivera, the sultry singer, dancer and actress who commanded the Broadway stage for more than a half century, died on January 30th. She was 91. Carl Weathers, the former NFL player who made his mark in Hollywood as the boxer Apollo Creed in the first four Akir films, and with appearances in such other projects as Predator. Happy Gilmer in Mandalorian, died on February 1st. He was 76 Toby Keith, the country music singer and songwriter known for his larger-than-life personality, died on February 5th. He was 62. Keith was diagnosed with stomach cancer in 2022.